What's up? How's everyone doing? Hope you all are having a lovely day. Uh, we're gonna pick up here where we left off at, so chapter five. Uh, finding the uh, the songstress. We just got one of them, and now we need to uh, start making moves on the other one. So, it's normal little gameplay here. Uh, you can always feel free to uh, leave some comments and check out the uh, the main channel as well. Get cozy, 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 cozy. <laughs> ミルレーネだよな。はあ、超絶美少女フェスタちゃん。それに先生を助けてくれた冒険者さん。もしよ。歌姫候補とはミルレーネのことじゃったのか。どうやらそうみたいなんだ。二人の推し出会いですか。で
の金属板とやらはこの奥じゃなたくミルレーネも人使いが荒いのま大した手間ではあるまいパパッと見つけてしまうぞ下僕よあ
イルベーネのやつ奇妙な遺跡と言っておったし金属板はここで間違いなかろう現れおったび<笑>蹴散らしてしまえ下僕さて。
So pretty much Aaron is, uh, Aaron started working that Quinte. So um, she's trying to get financial sense of this era. And Fessy was kind of just like, yeah, I mean, makes sense instead of staying depressed and sitting around, it's better you know, get your body moving, which is true, y'all, which is true. Um, and then she, and then after all that rambling, and then she tells, oh, by the way, Ligero and uh, Millring went back to the temple. So I was, and Fessy's like, yo, you don't think that you should have told us that first before talking about your freaking part-time job. And so now we go back to the temple. So what was on that was as she thought, and it's actually part of a song. So if we connect it with the relics that we found before, then apparently it's going to create a whole song. It's a, a song that's been passed down. So an ancient song is pretty much. Isn't that the same song Fessy sings? Yeah, so they're saying that, you know, so that's the same song, you know, what. So she taught Aaron and saying, I guess there's a more to it. There's a continuation to it. Huh? And naturally, she's surprised. How'd you, wait, what? You knew the song? You knew that current song? How'd you know it? And she's saying, so she's like, well, what, how, where'd you learn? Where'd you learn? And Fessy's kind of, hmm, you know, come to think of it, even if I forgot everything, I still remember this song. Yeah, and she's kind of just like, yep, yeah, since like my memory's vague, just like yours is looking at me. And she says, I don't know anything about the song.
He's thanking us. Okay, this, this is just a c continuation, so it's just uh, help with the festival. <sighs> and he's talking about the uh, the armed group that they were investigating, the ones that we encountered and whatnot. Uh, he's saying that. As of right now, the results remain unclear. He asked us to help with security. Those were the opening preparations, so the opening ceremony that was pretty nice, right? So let's toss some time before the performance begins, so let's uh let's look around the city a little bit.
This is easy to break. She looks cute in different clothes, though, right? Well, I guess she looks cute regardless, right? <laughs> Here he is. This guy again, the woman eyes. Says, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. Let me pay for it. Let me pay for it. Let me help you. お主たちか言うこと言ったな。ランハルト広告の高等文官がここで何をしておる。これはこれは鍋原美咲以来ですね。バンケルクの野望を阻止してくださったにゃさん。なんじゃ知っておったのか。その上で私らを無視したとは性
gonna change. Yes. So, Jana. So they're preparing, obviously, they're preparing and uh, the song's about to happen. And we just told her that she can go watch in the uh, in the audience. So you should be able to enjoy it, you know. Carwin and everyone has the security lockdown, so you should enjoy the festival. So now let's go talk to Ligeria and see how, uh, get the update.
So just a continuation preparations are being made. Yeah, 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 yeah. They still don't know about the the people who are attacking. They don't know the identity of them yet. So be careful. Uh, pretty much that's, that's it. So they're a little worried. They're talking about the security and how the security is focused on the stage. And Fessy's kind of like, well, hmm, you know, I'm a little worried here because if the if security's focused on the stage, I feel like I'm going to be hit by by something unexpected, by a blind spot. There's a blind spot, and Carbon kind of confirms there. And he says, yeah, in fact, security forces are, you know, primarily concentrated on the stage, and you know, it is kind of minimum in other locations. So. Um, yeah.
Pretty cool. <laughs> ありがとうございます。Everything went well. It's going to take some time for them to refine the uh, the, the Ingrams for the for the chronogram. Uh, and then they're kind of chatting about the attack. Nothing really too intense there that I feel like I should need to cover. But uh, they're kind of talking about. You all saw the glowing thing where it was being refined there, and he was discussing how there's a, the hidden room and and how would they know about that, and if it, if that spot would have gotten attacked during the attack that they wouldn't be able to refine refine the stuff then that that's what that conversation was about okay so this one's focusing on finding out the true identity of the group So now we go talk to Carvin and see uh, we, because at least he was obviously dealing with the people inside the theater. So uh, let's go see what he knows. Obviously, as you figure out, they were interrogating him and he killed himself. That's kind of a common, that's kind of a common thing to keep, keep secrets, right? Keep your hidden, hidden secrets. There's some way of killing yourself, whether it's poison, you know, you store some poison in the, in the back of your mouth or something like that, and you can bite it or then it kills you, and, you know, so yeah, 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 you see this all the time, right?
So it looks like she knows what the poison was. She's familiar with the, the flower, as you can see there. So that's what she thinks it was. As the guy said, the guy mentioned that region. Uh, well, the, the, when they were studying what, what the cause of death was, the poison came from that region. So she's saying it had a unique smell. So she thinks it was that. She's saying no, it's not something that you can buy. Fessy asked if it's something that you can buy. And she said no, it's not. Only locals should know about it. Um, and it's dangerous and shouldn't be touched. So. She pretty much said that there's no way, you know, people would sell it. That, like, that's how strong the poison is. Like, it's that dangerous. So, we wouldn't sell it. So we're thinking that maybe so she's talking about to you know to to use this as a, such a strong poison you know it needs to be fresh and so basically they're saying oh so maybe the hideouts around there and charlotte's saying can you take me to uh... and she says you know she's like trying to convince them it's like you know i couldn't be a decoy it might be easier to find them and then she says to be honest yeah, you know, I'm scared, and I want to know who they are as well. So, this makes sense. She wants to confirm why she's uh, why she's being targeted by this group. Uh. And of course, he says he's coming as well, and hasn't finished guarding Charlotte. That's why she's blushing right there. <laughs> And she's saying all she can do is pray for our safety. And we're saying that's fine. And she's uh, keep an eye on Tillis for us. は見た目じゃわからないんですよね。ましてあなたはアバリティアだし。でもここでおとなしくしているということはまだ本調子じゃないと受け取っていいですか。自己主を疲れるとたまりますよね、あなた。流属史上最強の王なのに。そのあなた
全ては我らが獣のためです And so that was kind of a little strange dialogue. Uh, he pretty much just came in. He was like, oh, "You're not doing too well, are you, Dragon King?" And he's like, and "Dragon King was like, uh, crazy shocked him off." And he's like, "Yeah, I can, you can never tell the condition of a of a dragon just by physical appearance." Anyway, and they were kind of talking, and it was kind of, it was kind of a hidden like kind of conversation, kind of foreshadowing, I guess. And you know, he's like, "You don't mind if I get the thing first, right?" And I was like, whatever the thing is, right? And um, and then he was, and then the Dragon King was like, as long as I get the woman and I have a Lydia show, then I don't care what you do. So um, there wasn't a whole lot of like dialogue it, like that told us anything there. It was kind of just like a foreshadow of what's to come. And so, uh, and obviously, obviously, you know, he was saying that obviously we're we're causing issues with their plan right you know so it's like yeah they these guys seem to be causing you issues and dragon king's like yeah you appear to be having troubles as well on your end right and so then the, it's kind of like whatever and yeah 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 and it's like yeah whatever we'll figure it out we'll make it happen for the dragon king right いや、いや、ハリー見覚えがあるなと思って。ララフォルテを探しに来た時にも感じたんだが、俺は以前にもこの辺りを訪れたことがある。セイリスフェミリーと。そう。確か子供の頃だ。俺と両親は誰かから
ずいぶんとご活躍でしたねボーヌスじゃな見柱でわしらを未来に飛ばしたやつは絶望の未来を見て死ねあの時の Well, that's interesting. So he's just saying his, his status of Bernard is just a title. You know, he's the servant of the beast. その一人が私です星の獣獣の使徒じゃとああご心配なく私は文明を滅ぼすような大それたことはいたしません私が欲しいのはただ一つそこの女の首だけですど,どうして私を狙うのあなたたちの目的は何なの知りたいですかそうでしょうねあなたは何も知りませんものね己のことも世界のことも未来のことも無知で愚かな女だ待ちなさいあいつ So obviously he's luring us in you know it's like why are you targeting me and he basically is like oh this stupid ignorant kid don't you want to know he's backing out so obviously he's luring us in and then I guess we'll find out more but obviously uh, that was kind of surprising that that was him. And, you know, like I said, he's it's just a title. You know, the, the it's basically a cover up, his title in Bernhardt. But he's, you know, he's actually his true, his true self is, is a servant of the beast. So. からの頼みは断れませんね。いいでしょう。昔々、あ、いいえ、逆でした。遠い遠い未来の話です。我らが獣は目覚め、美しき絶望に包まれた未来。一組の夫婦が生まれたばかりの我が子をはるかな過去へ
神の愛に感謝ですねおかげであなたはこの時代でのんびりと生きてこられたご両親の行動は無駄でした他ならぬ私があなたpretty much charlotte's from the future so a man and a woman had a kid from the future but they didn't want to raise her in that distant future where everything was in turmoil the world was about to go bang bang bad bad am i losing hp uh bang bang bad bad so they sent that child back in time but that child ends up coming back to the future of their own free will and organizing the front to against the freaking the freaking dragon king uh, the, the, you know everything that's great in that area well great as in everything that's evil in that area so that's why they're trying to kill charlotte because charlotte ends up coming back into the future and challenges them so that's why they want charlotte's head because charlotte's from the future originally she is from the future and she was sent to the past to this air because her parents didn't want to raise a kid in that messed up era. So that's the whole reason why they're after Charlotte. And of course, that's why she had that that uh, that chronogram in the pendant. So it all adds up. It's all adding up now. これ以上逃げても無駄です。おとなしくしてくだされば悪いようにはしません。アデライドの息子に忌まわしき旧敵。それと。
予想外の邪魔者におまけの味誰がおまけじゃいやはやまさかですよこれらがきれいにつながっていたなんてすべては未来のあなたの思惑通りですかシャルロット知らないわよどうして俺の母親の名前を出す<笑>あなたは何か知っているのかあなたの率いる生存戦線は涙ぐましく戦いました種族を超えバファリア親族すら取り込んでその中心たるあなたを獣は疎んだ踏みつぶせば死ぬありでも噛みつかれるのは不快ですから我ら人は獣のために動くことにしましたより正確より確実に邪魔者を消すために過去に送られた子供のあなたを殺すことにしたのです<笑>しかしクロノゲートで飛ぶ直前あなたの側近により邪魔をされたバファリア親族の女戦士アデライードその顔を聞くたびに傷がうずく母さんかシャルロットと同じ滅びの未来かおいカーブイクソしまったそう、もう、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、But then AIDS stopped him from killing him. And one of those AIDS was、uh, Idolade, the popular warrior god. Affiliate warrior god, goddess, rather. Like, that's a, a, a freaking. She's a Pophilian god warrior. So、uh, that's his mother. And well, of course, we already do that. He had blood from that, from the, the, the Pophilian god. So. Then he dipped off. Because there he was like,、uh, of course, you know, they're from the same from the same era, right?
逃げ回りよってそこが知れるの大方アデライードからもそうやって逃げておったのではないか<笑>私の目的はシャルロットアデライードなどどうでもいい<笑>本当に忌まいましい女ですよあれとの戦いの余波か私は指定した年代よりずれてクロノリープしてしまったあなたが送られた時代より4年も前に到着ですよこれにはさすがに参りました So he's saying he arrived four years ago, pretty much because of the battle that he had gotten to with that woman. He had messed it up and he ended up coming four years earlier than he wanted to. Or actually longer than that, excuse me. Pretty much he's been here for a very long time. お前たちなのかいいえ違いますよ嘘をつくなあなたは優秀な文官だった夜くもあなたを慕っていたのにああ夜くあれは本当に良い子でした思った通りに断ける苦を動かしてくれた何私はね バファリア教団を潰したかったんですよ獣にとって邪魔の者は全て排除したかっただからダンケルクに広告を乗っ取ってもらって教団と親族にダメージを与えようと思ったんですドンカーそうヒーズセットアップあの気まじめな御人をメ
逃がしてはいかん遊語のやつめ今のアバリティアシェルの状態は理想的です異物を取り込んだことで暴走しやすくなっているつまりそれは獣の目覚めを早めることに他ならない遊語しかしあなた方はそれを止めようとしているそれはいけない許されないこと、so、nice、but... は許されないこと許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないことは許されないはこは許ないでしょう。獣のため、ひいてはこの星を救う大義のためですよ。はあ、未来のためにもお前は死ぬべきだ、シャルロット。それはこっちのセリフよ<笑>行こう Yo, do they just throw us into dungeons left and right, bro? Like, yo, let me, let me take a breather first, dude. Like, y'all yo, just got me going in and in. Okay, I see y'all. So, don't you like space time distor distortions? This is a comfortable place for me, so. so it's like there's a, there's a space time distortion in there. This place is called the, the Sea God Cave, or the Cave of the Sea God.
あなた方もしつこいですねこんな場所にいないで過去へ戻ってお仲間を助けることを優先すべきではお主の腹の内は読めてきたわわしらが過去へ行けばお主に有利に働くのじゃなおや短絡的に動いてくれた公女様とは違いますね揃ってあの頭なら獣もお喜びになるのですがまさか俺たちが過去に飛ぶたびに獣が活性化する<笑>クロノリープこそ獣が滅ぼすべき行き過ぎた文明の象徴です過去へ飛ぶたびに獣は刺激され活性化するアバリティアシェルはその影響を直に受けるそしてお仲間は苦しみと絶望に沈んでいく事態を悪くしているのはあなた方自身なのですよ<笑>過去も未来もあなた方には変えられない全ては無駄なあがきですがまだ戦いますかI'm saying every time that we chrono jump and stuff like that, chrono leap, where you know we're, we're messing things up, where the, where the reason things are getting messed up, and it's making things even crazier. It's like, so will you, will you still fight because everything's futile? So that's why they're looking at that. It's like, yeah, of course we'll still fight. <laughs> ここまでだ<笑>騙されましたねまさかこんなカードが伏せられているようとはここまで手こずるのはアデライード以来ですよ何をブツブツ言って
Still forgotten Chrono Gate, no one uses it now. Urgency to get back to the temple. That was very interesting. That was very interesting. I didn't translate all that to the T. Uh, if you want to, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you do anyway if you're watching this. But you know, you can kind of translate it and, and look at it yourself. Because I didn't want to really interrupt the mood and and just kind of just let it all flow and you know, so. I think it was better to watch it like that, right?
アバリティアシェルと言ったかなあれのせいで獣が活性化している師匠師匠ってお主たちたくましく育ったねターベインやはり君には英雄の資質があったみたいだ君は言うまでもない希望の落とし子をここで使うのはもったいないけれどお主何をしないようだ,だがこのままでは獣が目覚めてしまうアバリティアシェル本体を処理しなければ問題は解決しない処理って師匠まずはアバリティアシェルを探すことだ君たちもそうするといいDude, this is a really good story. But so, anyways, obviously, you know, we got there, and then、uh, the Avalanche Shield was obviously active, you know, because of everything that was going on, the beast and everything, and then the Chrono jumped from the beast, and so and so and so and so.、Uh, obviously, our pendant kind of quelled it, the energy from our pendant, whatever the hell our pendant does, it, you know, kind of quelled it. And then, as y'all saw there,、uh, you saw,、um, what, what was her name? Cavan's mother. I can't remember her name right now. Uh, Ir Iridalia or, or something like that.、Um, her, obviously, her conscience was in that, was coming through Tillis. And so,、uh, you know, they said, and she, she spoke the words Kevin, right? And,、um, and of course, they heard that and they realized that that was his mother's voice. So then Merlo came and then Merlo、um, pretty much was like, oh, so, so this is a v i l i d i a shell, I guess, huh? So this must be the, the reason why the beast is active. And so then he tries to do something to us, and we can't move. You know, Fessy's like, I, I can't move, I can't move. But then our pendant once again cancels out his effect. So then he's like, Hmm, interesting, I see. So my usual methods won't work here against y'all. So I'm not sure if he was trying, I'm not sure what he was trying to do. If he was trying to get rid of us, which he may have been. But because then after that, he said, Well, either way, um, We need to deal with the, 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 the we need to deal with the a v i l i d i a shell. These things will not subside until the a v i l i d i a shell itself is dealt with. So I'm going to go look for that. I hope you all do the same. That's what he was saying when he flew off. So not too sure what exactly was going on there, but、um, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot to unravel here for sure. There's a lot to unravel here. And of course, you know, there's, of course, I play some special role in this as well, you know. And we all, has, we all have little special roles that we play in here the demi human, you know, me with and then Kevin and Charlotte from the future. So it's, it's, all, it's, it's, all, it's all something. And so, of course, Charlotte appears to be the mastermind in the future who kind of plans out all this stuff. So it's interesting. I think maybe, I think maybe that was、um, Charlotte that we saw when we got sent to the future, actually. It was in the cloak that pushed us back into the.、Uh, Into the Chrono Gate. So, interesting, interesting.
says that's all for the main quest. Uh, enjoy the game. Do other stuff. That's pretty much what it says. And it's saying, and uh, in recommendation, when you don't know what to do, try talking to um, the uh, the quest NPC at the brewery to get side quests, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It will lead you to new content.
That's rough, dude. Oh, these are these are strong, strong guys in this one. It's for the good stuff, though. For the good stuff. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. Then I'll probably do some stuff. I'll probably. I was about to say off stream. <laughs> I'll probably, I'll probably keep. Uh, I'll probably try that again. But we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, let's. Uh, actually, there's an adventure. What about this guy? Is there a rank up exam? Uh, let's check that first. If there is, we'll do that first real quick. So yeah, we'll wrap it up there then. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day, week, whatever. Uh, much love. Give someone a hug. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in the next one. Dude, that story was super good. Wow. That story was super good. Let's go.